Are you a new permanent makeup artist and struggling to get going in the world of PMU? Well, let me let you into a secret. All those artists that you look up to, they were just like you too. Hi, I'm Katie Schofield, artist, trainer, strategist, mentor, new model army fanatic and ex-PMU stress head. And I want to share the five things that I wish I knew back in the stressy times that I now know to help you on your journey. I love helping new artists, so please swing by my Instagram and say hi and join my Facebook group, Permanent Excellence, to post your work in a supportive environment. I can still remember how hard that first year of permanent makeup was. Constantly comparing myself to others, wondering if I'd ever get busy, pulling each set of brows apart, and I want to give you the best advice I can to get you from struggling artist to confident PMU master. Okay, first off, you are only as good as the skin you're working on. I still produce some shit brows. Is it because I'm a bad artist? No, it's because sometimes I get damaged, old, ruddy skin to work on. The brows won't heal shit. I just have that confidence in my work now and my experience and my pigment line. But those freshly done pictures will never make it to my Instagram page. Everyone is usually only posting their best work and you can't create stunning pixelated brows on rough sun damaged skin. So stop trying. Learn some other techniques to get the pigment in with as little trauma as possible. And just do your best you can with that client. Secondly, you are going to need a lot of practice, and I mean a lot. Every great artist you see got good from practicing, so stop looking for quick fixes. Get your latex out and practice whenever you get a chance. People's faces are not for practicing on. Refine your skills on latex before touching people, and make sure that your depth, your shape, and your technique are great, because there are so many other things to factor in when you actually touch a person. Thirdly, and this is an important one, not all money is good money and not all clients are good clients. When we start, we want to help everyone, but some brows are best left alone. As a beginner, I recommend you don't try and color correct. And if anyone gives you a bad vibe on a consultation, do not take them as a client. Your gut will always be right. That money you take can cost you more in the long run. Know your abilities and don't go trying to correct other people's messes until you know what your own work looks like healed long term. Fourthly, mapping. You need to get your mapping down. If you haven't mastered this, you can't create good brows. Your technique and implantation do not matter at all if the brows are wonky. You should be mapping whenever you can. Map your friends, map your husband or boyfriend, map your children, map anyone in sight. And if you're struggling with mapping, then I have a great course to help you map in just five minutes. And I've posted a link in the description. Lastly, turn your machine down. If you're a beginner, then your hand is probably slow and it takes a while for the movements to become second nature. One of the things I get sent to me most is latex and real work that is inconsistent and patchy. You're trying to run before you can walk. Build the basics with a slow machine to begin with. Don't worry if you don't know how fast your hand should be because I made this video here to explain it all. Did those examples help you? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you soon.